Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Joe Day, and today is Thursday, August 16th. It's 5.28 p.m., and this is going to be the hair review on Wiggins Hair. I did purchase some hair from Wiggins Hair. Um, this is not a paid sponsorship or anything. I did purchase the uh, hair with my own money. So before we jump into it, thank you to all my subscribers, all my old subscribers, and all my new subscribers. Gracias for joining my channel. So yes, I got this hair off of um, AliExpress from the company called Wiggins Hair. I had looked at some reviews because I wanted some curly hair for the summer. And um, I really had liked a few people that I had seen that had purchased this hair. Um, I had liked their reviews and stuff, and so I wanted to give the hair a try. So let me give you the specs on the hair. This is three bundles. I have a 24 inch, no, I have uh, 122 and 224 inch um, bundles. I have a 20 inch frontal. This is in the natural wave. Of course, the hair did not come colored like this. This was done by me, a custom color. So what I did was um, the hair came in like a natural black color and I bleached it in the front and then I used um, two different cellophanes, which I have that information right here of what I use. And I got these from my local beauty supply. And so this color is Lava Red 954 by um, Essence. And this is a semi-permanent color. And then um, I got this other color called Raging Red. And I even did like a pink color in the front right here, which um, is by the same company of this one. But I had um, co-washed it the other day. And, um, and so you can't really see it all that great. But I constructed the unit on a cap on Saturday, last Saturday. And I did the bleaching. I bleached the unit on, I believe it was Tuesday. Yeah, I think it was Tuesday. Um, the frontal did come with a little baby hair in the front. And, of course, I did tweak it a little bit. Um, I did pluck some of the hairs. I did not bleach my frontal on the back. I did bleach in the front. Um, I didn't want, I wanted to try a different method on the, the back of the frontal to bleach the knots that way. So what I did was I mixed the clear protective shield with some foundation and some concealer that uh, matches my skin tone. And I just uh, put that all over the back of the, um, frontal and let it dry and basically it, it's you know made like this protective shield where it looks like the the um the knots are bleached but they're not and then I also went in around the hairline and put like a little bit of powder um I did do the stocking cap method with the um got to be glue um freeze and the the gel and all that that's how I'm um how I laid my unit down and so that was my first time doing that, which I really like that technique a lot. Um, it's not going nowhere, baby. It ain't going nowhere. Now, I will say this about this hair. So I've only been wearing this hair since Tuesday. Yeah, I've only been wearing it since Tuesday. Um, bought the hair from AliExpress on a Thursday. I got it by that Wednesday. Altogether, my total was $213. And um, I like the hair. But I do feel like once you bleach this hair, the curl pattern on the part where the hair is red, I notice is a little bit different than the curl pattern on the hair that I didn't bleach. I feel like it's a little bit straighter, but it's still, you know, it's still workable. And I'm not um, disliking that or anything of that nature. I've been getting a lot of compliments on this hair. Um, I really like it. So, this is how I did my frontal, if you guys can see. So, yes. Really, really pretty. I'm six foot tall, so it comes down to the middle of my back, like close to my waist. So, yeah. Really, really pretty color. And the back of it, if you guys can see, is the regular. This is the natural color that the... The hair came in when I got it. And so all I did was co-wash the hair when I got it. 
and then um, let it dry and stuff and then I just bleach. Um, I constructed the wig first because I wanted to put the bleach in the areas where I wanted the color. So um, I did I did it like that first, which I had never did that before. So I'm happy with the results. Um, I really like this hair. So far, you know, so good. I like it. Um, I got a little bit, just a little bit of shedding. I end up cutting my wefts. I, I, at first, I wasn't going to cut the wefts. I was just going to do the zigzag motion where you fold over. But I decided to go ahead and cut them because I did the hot glue gun method. And, um, you know, it, that can get so messy if you guys have never did that. Or for those of you that have did it, I'm sorry, my eye itching. For those of you that have did it, it can be, you know, a hassle, whatever. So, um, this wig is constructed on a cap. And I did do the hot the hot glue gun method. I used the Gorilla Glue from Walmart. And when I say that's some strong shit, baby. These tracks, even if you wanted if you wanted to take the tracks off the cap, because I kind of fucked up because I I started out using the smaller bundle, which I didn't mean to do that. So I actually have the 22 at the bottom and then the 24s. I didn't realize until when I got on the second bundle that I was like, oh fuck. I wasn't supposed to start out with the, the 22, but it's all good. It still came out pretty. I'm not tripping. So, um, yeah, this, this hair, this hair is the bomb. It's the bomb.com. But I mean, I just feel like when I, before I bleached the closure, before I bleached, you know, put the bleach on the curl pattern on the frontal does match with, with the hair, with the hair bundles. And that's something that you may tend to not find a lot with some companies with some hair. So um, I'm going to leave all the links and stuff below um, to the to this company and to this hair that I actually um, end up getting. And again, this is the Natural Wave in a 20-inch frontal, 22-inch um, bundle, and two 24-inch bundles. And um, I just bleach the hair where you see the color because it's not all over the hair. It's just like mainly in the front part. And um, so, yeah, I really like this hair. I've been getting, you know, the dudes, they really like it. I've been getting people in my inbox talking about, hey, red and all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's really, really pretty. And I just cannot. Um, the wave pattern is so pretty on this hair. Even before I um, did anything to the hair, I mean the wave pattern, and if you've seen the other video of my unboxing, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it's super duper pretty. You really just, I mean, I haven't seen a wave pattern on any type of um, wavy, loose wavy hair like this particular hair with this company. So, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say. Like I said, I haven't really got a whole bunch of shedding or anything um, on the hair. Um, I think when you do cut your wefts, you're more prone to get a little bit of shedding. That's just my opinion. But so far, I've had, um, you know, I don't have nothing bad to say about this hair. It's still early. You know, I'm going to give it a few more weeks to see you know, what this hair is going to do. I don't plan on straightening um, this hair. I think when you have the different hair textures, you should keep them in that format that you got them in. Um, and meaning that if you get curly hair, keep it curly. If you want straight hair, then buy straight hair. If you want body wave, then buy body wave. So my next, um, the next type of hair that I plan on getting is some body wave hair. And by the, by the way, this is Brazilian hair. So um, that was another reason why I wanted to try this hair because they had it in a Brazilian. And so, yeah, I don't have no complaints on this hair so far. So I'm going to definitely keep you guys posted on, um, this little red number right here, honey. So yeah, I'm going to, um, go ahead and leave all the links and stuff below. And if you can see, this is what my scalp is looking like. I don't know if you could really see it because of the color, but for the most part, I like the way the frontal um, came out with the technique that I did to hide the bleach knots or whatever. And yeah, I love it. 
you guys let me know if you like it and that's pretty much it on this video i hope you guys like this video don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and follow your girl on all her social media links because i post stuff all the time my instagram my facebook i also have twitter but i don't really be on twitter like that too tough but um you can definitely find me on my instagram and my facebook and i will leave my links below and i'm out holla at your girl deuces